Well, hello there, lovelies. Welcome back to the bridal series tutorials. I'm gonna ask at the end because there's a whole bunch of them. Let's do a quick recap, shall we? This particular uh, series is one, a bridal series, two, a way to kind of kick my butt out of the funk. Yes, I said funk that I've been in probably, well, most of uh, what was 2022. Thank God that year is over. <laughs> it was a rough one to say the least. I am happy to be in 2023 now. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. That's the recap, a really brief one. If you want to catch up on the previous episodes, if you've missed them, make sure to check out, we have a whole compilation of this bridal series, but also just check out the last couple of videos on our YouTube channel and you will get caught up to speed. So, so far we have prepped all of the flowers and greenery. We have done a bridal bouquet as well as a bridesmaid bouquet. And today's tutorial, today is going to be my absolute favorite way to do a boutonniere. It's a little non-traditional, but I love it so much. And it makes me so excited because it's super customizable and also super easy. No pins, no magnets, none of that stuff. No fiddling around with teeny tiny little wires and wrapping stuff, none of that. So it's gonna be a ton of fun. Okay, my most favorite, absolute, without a doubt, to make a boutonniere, and I don't have a suit jacket, so you're gonna have to visualize with me, but this little, this little square here, rectangle, not square. <sighs> and I homeschooled my kids. <laughs> this rectangle right here is what we're gonna call a pocket square boutonniere. So it slides into the pocket. You're gonna have a little bit of greenery and flowers coming up. This particular size, it's three inches by five inches. Uh, I cut it out of cardboard first and then I put whatever I want on here. And that is the part that makes me so freaking excited about these because it can be so stinking personalized. You could cut out a page from one of your favorite books. You could write a cute little love note to the groom. You could take your favorite picture of you two and put it on there as well. There are so many stinking options. Let me know what you think. What would you want to put on a, a as a, like a little, just a little sweet, customized part of the boutonniere, what would you put on this little square? Also, you could use the ribbon from the bouquet. You could use a swatch of fabric. There is so, 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 so many options. I just went with scrapbook paper to make it easy um, and used some tape glue on there. Simple, Simon, easy peasy, easy breezy, beautiful pocket square. So let's bring you guys on down and we'll work on creating the pocket square. I think this is going to be my front just because I like it. And the, the colors kind of match what we've got going on in our color story. So let's do this, shall we? I have all of the different greenery that we used in the bridal bouquet and the bridesmaid bouquet. And I only grabbed, this is probably too much for sure. We're not going to use all of that. But I only grabbed one of these one of these and just a sprinkling of these because we're gonna cut these all down. We definitely don't need the length of those. And then for the flowers, I grabbed the last, I was gonna do the, like the succulents that I had, but they became, it was just a little bit too large. So I grabbed one of the dollies that we had that chartreuse green in, sea moss, I believe was the name of the color. And then some of the smaller little roses that we have. So that's really, it. I'm gonna just kind of pay attention to the direction of the greenery and then for building this I really only want to work with the last quarter or the quarter top of this and everything else is going to be going into the pocket so keep um, mindful of that you don't want to get it too low because otherwise it's going to get all scrunched up but just to give you an idea I'm thinking that flower straight in the middle and then Ooh, this one's nice because I actually the it's gonna sit perfectly underneath there and I think we're gonna I think we're gonna go kind of flanked on the side and we're gonna leave a little space for greenery on there I also like to try to get a flower to go upward so that when the 
groomsman is looking down or the uh, groom himself is looking down, they have something else to look at too. Because not just, not just the bride needs to look at pretty flowers. I kind of feel like everybody deserves to look at some pretty flowers. This is probably the hardest part when you're working with small flowers or small pieces of greenery. Try really hard not to burn your fingers. I think even a tweezers might be helpful sometimes in some of these pieces. Also, if you can see here, I didn't want any pieces of like stems sticking out at the bottom. So I purposely finished off with that. I definitely feel like there's something missing there a little bit. So we're gonna grab, oh, and there's still some glue there. Yep, so I'm gonna wiggle that in. Wiggle that in. Now, the Italian Ruscus was a big part of the um, bouquets, so we definitely wanna get a little bit more of that in here. So we're gonna start putting some of those sticking up at the top too. And since the bridal bouquet was so wild, these can be a little bit wild too. So when you're recreating, if say you're doing this for the entire um, groomsmen, all of the groomsmen as well as the groom himself, you're definitely able to, they don't have to all match perfectly, but they'll still give the same kind of story. Now this one is shifting down a little bit, so I'm gonna attempt to glue those two together. And just for a visual, this is what we have left of the greenery that we started with. So you can definitely use very small amount of greenery to make a beautifully like high impact piece. So I know this is a nice quick project but this is absolutely my absolute 100 percent no no doubt about it favorite way to do a boutonniere i'll do the traditional way too but with that it's always it's a lot more finicking i feel like and plus this can really make a big statement which y'all know how i am so again when you see it look, look. when i look down that's what i get to see is that lovely little um peachy colored flower. <sighs> These would also, well, just depends on the attire for if you, you need a, a jacket pocket to put it in. But like, oh, get a winter event and a coat that has a little pocket in the front or, there's just so, oh my gosh, I love these so much. I wish I had more reasons to make them all the time for all sorts of occasions. Maybe I need to start wearing suit jackets so I can put flowers in my pockets. That's, maybe that's my goal for this year. <laughs> more pockets in the front so I can wear flowers in them. It sounds like a good goal to have. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have you ever made a pocket square? Boutonniere? I don't really know what they're called. I just like to call them pocket squares, but Nonetheless, give it a name down below. That would be lovely. But have you ever made one? Or are you like now inspired to try and make one? I think you're gonna love them if you make them. And again, super customizable, which bonus, bonus, bonus. At least for me. All right, you guys. I hope you loved this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below with any of the prompts that I gave you or anything else you'd like to tell us. That would be lovely. If you're loving this channel, can't get enough, wanna know the next time we go live, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell to find out about the 150 style. I'm just racing through it. Just, boo! 
If you'd like to find out about the 150 style solo wood flowers along with craft supplies and greenery, go to ohyourlovely.com and remember that coupon code for your first order. Use the code YouTube30 to get 30% off your first order. All right, you guys, I don't know if this is the wrap up to the bridal series. We'll see or not. If there's something else you absolutely would love to see in a bridal series using the colors that we picked from this particular series, drop them down below and I might be able to make your dreams come true. <laughs> it's a possibility. I mean, that's a pretty tall order, but I could, I could do it. There's always that chance. I'm, I'm thinking I might want to tackle a, a swag. So if that's something that you want to see, let me know down below or anything else. Like I said, any, any wedding related items that you would like to see a tutorial on, let me know. And if it's not in this series, it definitely can be sometime in the lovely year that is 2023. All right, you guys, I'm done rambling. I'll see you next week for another tutorial. I'm Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.